Hi, sweet friends, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, my name is Felicia. So nice to meet you, and thank you for stopping by today. Well, in today's video, we're going to be continuing my fall decorating series, and this will be part seven. And this beautiful scene was taken from my local Lowe's store. We could be good friends. We could be good friends, yeah. We could be good friends. We could be good friends, yeah. So in today's video, we're going to be decorating my vintage hutch for the fall season. I'm just giving you a quick look so you can see what it looks like with nothing in it. And these are all the items that I removed out of it. Some of these items I'm gonna reuse and some I'm gonna store them away. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start decorating this hutch from the top. And as you can see, I've already added my candles and put those in place. I removed all the white ones and replaced them with these darker browns. And so the next item that I'm adding is this beautiful find. And if you watch my fall shopping haul, you will know exactly where I got this from. Up next, I'm gonna be adding these garlands surrounding the candlesticks and the pumpkin. I'm using this beautiful ivy garland that I've already used throughout my home so far. And I'm gonna mix this with this second garland. I like to use this because it's easy to attach my floral picks into because it's very sticky. And so this is what it looks like. To create this look, I used two ivy garlands and one of the plain green garlands. So are you guys decorating for the fall season this year? So now I'm gonna add this very colorful garland and I'm gonna layer it on top of the ivy and the other green garlands that I already have on this mantle to create visual interest and to really make this top of this hutch pop for the fall season. Up next, I am gonna be adding a variety of additional accents to this garland to add more texture and visual interest. This is the dinnerware that I'm gonna be adding back to the hutch and these pumpkin salad plates, I'm gonna use that to give it a fall look. I will be using these plate holders to add my salad plates and now they're in place. So now I'm just adding each salad plate to the hutch. I have added this sign back to the hutch that I had during the spring and summer season. Also, I'm going to take these bowls, I'm going to fill them with sassel and insert them in between the plate settings. I'm also going to be adding some garland around the lanterns in this sign. And this is what it looks like. To create this look, I use one green ivy garland and I added in these little greenery picks throughout to create, once again, visual interest with texture. Just in case you haven't noticed, I really enjoy decorating my vintage hutch. It is so much fun. And I hope you're having fun decorating right along with me. Up next, I'm going to add a touch of Thanksgiving by adding these little adorable turkeys. So let's add some beautiful fall color to this greenery. This is the items that I have gathered to help me do just that. So 
as you can see, I've placed in my variety of florals here. And this is day two, by the way. I had to walk away from this and rethink what I was doing. And so I just added in some of these mums that I have used um, on my fall tree. And I added in these little um, brown-eyed Susans or whatever you want to call them in for just some dimension and color to break up the monotony of the oranges and the greens. And I think that looks good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to decorate this cutting board. I'm going to take these pumpkin mugs and I'm going to add three to this cutting board. So I'm going to show you how to make a quick, simple topiary. Now, as you can see, these are my supplies here. I have this miniature flower pot that I purchased from the Dollar Tree, and I've already painted this with some chalk paint. I have this pumpkin. This is an old little topiary pumpkin that I bought from Walmart years ago. And I have some more of that sassel. So I'm going to go ahead and put these parts together and I'll be right back. So now I'm just adding in both topiaries to this hutch. So at the last minute, I had a bright idea to add lights to all the greenery on this hut. So now I am just adding a simple basket, furniture throw, and this miniature pumpkin pillow to complete the look of this hutch. <laughs> Reaching out 